One of the most rewarding things for a banker is to see people buying maybe their first home, but to see a business grow and to be a part of that, you feel like you really, you helped out. Since its beginning, the bank has been doing residential lending for the community. 1886 was the very first time that we made a mortgage loan for $10,000. Currently, we offer a variety of mortgage programs. We partner with CHAFA, which is Connecticut Housing Finance Authority. We also have at Thomas & Savings Bank a first-time homebuyer program. We decided to expand the program in 2022. Myself and Tony Sanchez, who's the Vice President of Residential, pitched an idea to put an internal down payment assistance program. We allow borrowers to borrow 97%, and then we give them a 3% down payment assistance program. Therefore, the borrower has 100% financing. We expanded to call it the First Time Homebuyer Plus program, which opened the product to our entire assessment area enabling more borrowers to participate. And at the end of business year in 2023, we closed almost $12 million worth of business in that program. It's interesting the history of banking. Most towns had a commercial bank, which did commercial loans and checking accounts. And then you had your savings bank, which was Thomason Savings Bank, and they did savings accounts and residential mortgages and some consumer loans. Well, in 1978, the government put through deregulation so banks could do both. In the late 1980s, we started some commercial lending. We were mostly focused on commercial real estate. We started that very slow and conservative because there is risk to commercial lending. But with the backing of the board, we grew the portfolio, like the Spice Company here. I remember when Greg and Dave started it, they were working out of Greg's house. There was a garage and a shed that they worked out of, and they were selling spices, where they both had other businesses, but this was kind of a sideline starting. And they ran out of space, of course. The company was growing. And then they started building here, where we are in Terryville. So in the case of Nutmeg Spice, the bank was supportive in their idea to expand to fulfill a need. There was certainly financial margins there, but certainly the demand and the strategic plan that he had required us to ride with him on facilities. So what does the bank do in that case? Facilities are always usually result in having a commercial real estate loan. So certainly on the real estate side, we helped him grow by putting the warehouses in and then shelving. So you have real estate and the bank helps with the equipment needs. And then usually at a growing business, one of the biggest things is working capital. So working capital has come in the form of lines of credit. And between a combination of all those, we were able to assist them in their path towards the growth that they're on now. A lot of times with commercial loans, it's about connection with the owners and the individuals. We're a people business. We do a good job assessing what that character is and whether there's a determination there, there's a fire there, there's someone that you can work with and know that they're gonna deliver on their end. In their case, they were committed and they were incredibly motivated. So when you can develop that type of relationship, that's really what community banking is. You don't get that touch at a big bank.